change focus, and tie untie pains. This podcast is at the intermediate level. It requires a basic knowledge of Accordance Bible software, but no knowledge of Greek or Hebrew. Okay, I confess. We here at Accordance are inveterate tweakers. If we can think of something that will make Bible study easier or faster, we just can't rest until we've added it to our software. That's certainly the case with the two features we're going to cover today, Change Focus and Tie Untie Panes. Both of them are brand new in Accordance 11.0.6. Change Focus Since the very beginning, one of the characteristics of Accordance has been that its focus has been the top verse in the main search text. Every parallel pane sinks to it. Now, that's great if the object of our study is the first verse in a paragraph. But what if we want to focus on something further down? When we scroll to it, all the panes move together, but we lose all the preceding context of the passage. Why is this an issue? Bible study professors constantly stress that a verse should be interpreted in context, in the light of the whole paragraph or prophetic oracle, story, or gospel pericope. However, the growing popularity of Accordance 11's info pane as a launching point for investigation has really worked against this principle. That's the reason for our newest feature, Change Focus. It's simple, really. We just Command-click Mac or Control-click PC on a verse reference, and the focus of all parallel tool panes shifts to that verse without moving any of the text panes. That's right, we can now study every individual verse in a passage without losing sight of the passage as a whole. Want to restore the original focus? We just tap and scroll any text slightly to restore the normal focus. Here, let's look at it in real time. Changing focus is a really easy feature to use. Just Command-click Mac or Alt-click PC over any verse reference. Notice how the panes with a Greek syntax tree and diagramming snap to the new verse reference with each click? The info pane is updating too. That means when I hover over each of these apparatus, they show me the textual variants for the last verse I clicked, John 9.5. The same is true of these commentaries. When I'm ready to switch back to a normal focus, I can click the top verse reference like so, or let me change the focus again before I show you this other method. Scroll any one of the text panes just slightly. Tie untie panes. Parallel panes are tied. That means they scroll together. That's the way it's always been in accordance until now. But check under the Actions menu of any parallel tool pane in Accordance 11.0.6 and we'll see a new menu item, Untie Scrolling. If we select it, the untied tool pane will now scroll separately from the rest of the parallel panes. This is a great feature if we want to read more of any tool, like a commentary for instance, without disturbing the rest of our panes. In that sense, I suppose this feature is a logical extension of the Change Focus feature. It allows us to consult more of a resource without disturbing our text. Here, let me show you what I mean. Let's try something a bit different to show off the Untie Pane feature. First, we'll search for Sinai. As I click through these hits, all the parallel panes move together, just like they're supposed to. But watch what happens when I untie the pane with the JPS Torah commentary. I can scroll just that pane through comments on multiple verses and all the other panes stay put. When I'm done reading, I tie the pane once again, then jump to the next hit verse. Let's try that again, this time with the Jewish Study Bible. I untie its pane, scroll back and forth in it however I want, then retie it before jumping to a new verse. That's all there is to it. Nice, huh? Those of you who use both Accordance on a computer and Accordance Mobile on an iPhone or iPad may have a question. 
What is the difference between the new untie pane in the full version of Accordance and the unlink pane on Accordance Mobile? Well, I'm glad you asked. While both will scroll separately, only Accordance Mobile adds a Table of Contents button to the secondary pane. That allows us to navigate in the additional pane more easily, which is really important in a mobile app that currently only supports one tab. Computer users, of course, can just open a second instance of the resource in another tab, which will have its own Table of Contents button. We here at Accordance are committed to studying the Bible and the ancient texts that illuminate it. We hope these two new features will make your own Bible study just a bit easier and more efficient. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp.